there, links here. We are po we are back with more of Enigma, which is a lovely game. Let's see what awaits Chester on the next day, huh? I know full well that this stand will never leave me. I assume he's talking about blood, right? Good morning, Claudio. Uh, good, good, good morning. Um, Laura, you're on your way to bring breakfast to Chester, aren't you? Uh. Can I go along too? Huh? Uh, what was that? Are you implying women are welcome or something? Uh, uh, uh no, 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 that, that wasn't it. It's just that today. You two are going on a trip again, huh? It's okay. I just want to eat breakfast with the two of you. Uh, I, I see. Uh, in that case, uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but before that, I have to check what you've got in that delicious bag. <laughs> hey, how do I look today? How? Uh. I don't look weird, do I? My face and dress are both clean, right? You look like you always do. I see. Good. I am Laura. There is something I'd like to ask you. Hmm. Yeah. Could you learn what Chester likes? Uh, I think I already do. Really? What is it? He said he doesn't like anything bitter. I see. Bitter. <laughs> I'm not talking about that! <laughs> what, what's got into you? I'm asking what kind of girls Chester likes, not food. Ooh. And what you're gonna do once you know that? Oh no, not you! Freak off! You're glad and too louder. Is the stick freak air from Mr. Nuts with you today? Stick! A name loser from outside, the one who looks like a wench. Tile! Did you do something, Chester? I haven't yet. Well, he'll be surprised. I I'm pretty sure Tile will get his ass wrecked if he tries something. If you're gonna do anything with <gasps> What? What you gonna do? I'm not gonna forgive you, okay? <clears throat> Is this? If you put as much a single finger at him, I'm not gonna forgive you for eternity! <gasps> Glad your precious got me. I'm gonna do anything to upset you, you know, don't ya? But that freaker insulted me. You know what it means, right? That you are still dumb as heck. I don't, you big bully! <sighs> I don't dislike when you act like this. But it's about time to start listening to what I've got to say. Fats! Eh? Peace off already. <clears throat> Peace off already. You're the one who's not listening. What? Are you talking to me, Laura? You're not a child anymore. Can you understand no means no already? Laura! You've never lost in a fight before, have you? Being hit, feeling pain, beating down frustration, biting down frustration, hating your weakness. The weak, you know, have a mindset of their own. We spend half our lives depressed, thinking to no end until one day. Until one day. No. Laura! Trying to solve everything through violence is what an idiot would do. True that. And my sister would never fall for a dumbass like that. How stupid can you get? That's right! Stupid! You're only saying this because of that guy. Huh? 
He's got nothing to do with this. Huh? I thought he was gonna hit me. He just went away. Sis? Hmm, what? Did my voice shake? A little, but you were really cool. Kakoi. Uh. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry, Laura. Yeah. I drew too much like a child, and that was so stupid of me. I always thought of you as my little brother, precious family, who need to protect him. And you're still as dear to me as ever, but... You're a boy after all, you don't need to be looked after forever. And... I see you were the one who always protect me, I should have trusted you more. Yeah. Sis. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Chester is probably waiting for... <gasps> ah! What is? They might have gone to Chester's place. I kind of doubt that. He doesn't know where his cabin is. Oh really? But I guess it's fine. How come you know that he doesn't know? What he actually? If he actually knows. But I'm still worried. Let's hurry up, a bit, okay? Don't worry. I thought. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure Chester can handle this guy. Sure. 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 Sure, sure. I'm pretty sure he can handle him easily. Ah, hey, Agnes! Good morning! Hello. <sighs> Are you on the morning walk? I've never seen you do that before. Yes. I don't like this guy. Just a moment before. Oh, he has a pocket watch, by the way. I didn't notice that earlier. Ty, or what was his name? He asked me where the young man lived. Do, do you mean? He was breathing quite heavily. D did you tell him? Yes. Ah. Why did you do that? He's out to get Chester. Hmm. It might be good for him to learn a lesson for posterity. Huh? What? Excuse me. Fat bus, what's his problem, Chester? Oh, we should hurry, let's run, Laura. Yeah. I'm telling you, Laura. I'm telling you, Chester will handle this. I believe in him. I know he has his own problems. I mean, I mean health problems, but he can handle this. I could hear the sound of breathing, as if there was a hole in my throat. I was frothy smeared in blood, definitely blood. The color would not fade, it would not let me go. No matter how many times I'd scrape it away, it would return. The more I tried to rid myself of it, the more vivid its hue became, smearing me ever deeper. I learned it was useless, and so I gave up. My design heart beat a silent tune. The color was that of a crimson, a dark and vicious putrid shade of red. And so I thought. At least allow me a... If that shade of red was at least the same color as the sky, perhaps I would have been in to and melted it with it in peace. Melt to a single color and fake blindness. As much as that was ridiculous. There was not a man in this land that retained the power of a dream. The smell of rust would bring everyone back to reality in a heartbeat. In this place, only those that gave up on breathing could still see dreams. I climbed a mountain, a peaceful slope like that of a hill. I was exhausted, to the point I almost gave up on standing. There was no helping it. I couldn't help it. Someone other than myself chanted those words within my soul. I was get resisted, yet I gave in. 
I continued up, continued up the mountain slope. I had to cross it to reach my destination. I could not turn back. Could be that he's talking like about a mountain of corpses or something. I don't know, man. I put forward one foot after another, careful not to trip. The texture of the road was soft. It crunched and sunk under my step. It sounds like it. The trunk of the tree that served as my foothold crumbled apart. The unstable mountain road let out a voice. A Why would the mountain have a voice? This is a definitely, basically, a mountain of corpses. Help me! Whoa, the eyes. What was that? Help. Did it just say that? Ah, I see. It was still alive. There was still alive that had yet to become the mountain. But wait. I could hear the steps approaching little by little. The steps of death. From inside. God damn it, Chester! Chester! Hey, you, are you? <laughs> Told you he can handle it. <laughs> oh, stop, please! It's digging to my neck. You're gonna. Kill, please! Just... Uh, 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 or something. Cut it out! Don't, don't kill him! Help, help me! Dead eyes, oh boy. Hmm... Just... Uh, uh, ch chest! Hmm? Yeah? Uh, please let me go! I, want to I don't want to die! Ah. Cool. <laughs> oh boy. He wrecked him. Nice. Sorry. I'm sorry. It, it, it's not like there's anything to us. That's right, and you don't need to apologize for that idiot time either. Who could have thought he would bring a knife? I think the gas you didn't get hurt, Chester. I should have sent him back, I messed up. He only got what he had coming to him. He might have killed you. <laughs> From what we see, it might have been the other way around in the end. But I pushed him to tears. <laughs> Good. He totally ran away the moment you let go. Yeah, and like all starting like to like a newborn deer. <laughs> I can't fake laughter, man. Did you see him go? I couldn't believe it. And he kept boasting how strong he was all this time. Hey, tell us what happened exactly. He attacked you out of nowhere, right? Are you sure you are not hurt anywhere? Uh, I'm sure. Um, actually, I don't remember it at all, so yeah. I was kind of sleeping and it happened so fast. So, I can't believe you managed to hold that ox down. <laughs> But I can't believe Ignis neither! Why would he tell Ty where you live? Ignis? Yeah, he told Ty where to go. Not to mention he said you should learn a lesson or something. Did you get into a fight when he was here? Are you sure he was telling that, you know, it was Chester who's gonna be taught a lesson here? Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> no, not that I remember. I have this person he didn't actually mean me. I knew it. A fairly cunning fellow, I see. 
Chester, you look kind of pale. Huh? Uh, I, I think I might have caught a cold. Oh, no! Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Huh? It's really nothing. Hey, sis. We should give him some time to rest. He can't even sit down in peace with us bothering him like this. If he's not in the way, how about letting Laura stay by our side tonight? Huh? It'd be better if something happened when you were alone. And you're okay with it, right, Laura? Uh, yeah. Ah, that idiot died. This time, not forgiving him for real. I'm gonna drop by Greta's house and try getting some herbs. Take care of him, Laura. But Greta's house was, like, next to this hut, right? And whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose I'll be going, Chester. See you later. Thank you, Colette. I, I kind of don't like the fact that they are... I mean, technically both. They are both hiding what's going with Chester from Colette. I don't like that. Anyway, you're welcome. I think she realized that as well, that they are hiding something. Huh. <laughs> Uh, are you alright? Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see my sister? Hmm. She was acting kinda weird, wasn't she? Ah, uh, yeah. Nobody should want to stay herself, and it's really weird how she left without a second word. I mean, she always worries and proudless of these things until it gets annoying. I wonder if I'm overthinking this. <coughs> Just. <laughs> it was a bit cold yesterday. Your illness. I guess he didn't get better after all. It's alright. You don't need to hide it from me. I don't remember what happened earlier too well. Want me to teach you some self-defense tricks? Huh? Will they help me to beat Ty? Let's start from learning how to protect yourself first. It won't take you more than a few hours to learn all you need. I sure can move. It's alright. Okay. Let's do it. And later, Lauro will scare the shit out of that guy. Hmm, I see. You don't seem surprised. I saw how he was built. You don't get like that from messing around like Ty. Oh, I didn't really believe he was a soldier. A man with a curvy face like that. Who could have thought? What's wrong? You knew, didn't you? Knew what? It's just they're going to die. He's here! Colette, what are you talking about? I see, I got it right. I can tell. Chester had the same smile as my mother. A smile that sure everything was alright, even for that was a complete lie. I freaking had a feeling she meant. No, no. Uh, realized it. Oh, that's the word. That smile was the last I ever saw of her. It's the same. Chester is not the kind to kill himself. I know that much. But he will disappear too, won't he? Somewhere where neither my hands nor voice can reach. Just like mom and dad. He's sick. You won't hold for long. No. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, she's technically not a doctor, I guess. Damn it. Ah, uh, so she, I guess, can spread the info like that, right? <laughs> I'm sorry for hiding it. I should have told you. Huh? I knew nothing. 
smiling like an idiot. I must have heard him. That's not your fault. He didn't tell anyone. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself, Colette. It's for training. Yeah. It's unbelievably frustrating. Of course, you love him after all. What? <laughs> I mean, it seemed like she would be crashing at him. But damn. <laughs> it's alright. Calm down, Colette. Why? Why does everyone I love pass away? And you want to be with someone. With someone dear to me. Together. Yeah. Why? Why is everyone being taken from me? Why are they taken away? Who am I supposed to blame? The one at the top. The creator of all. <laughs> I mean, who else? If you believe, right? No, 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 no. I don't want this. I know. It's long. It's frustrating. That's right. You are correct. No. I really like him. I really do. He's the first one I ever felt that way about. What am I supposed to do? Laura too will feel his pain. He's a kind child. Way kinder than I could ever be. No. I had enough of sadness and loneliness. I had enough. And yet. What am I supposed to do? Is there anything I... There is no need to hold back. You can rage and you can cry. You don't need to suppress your emotions. You're just a normal girl. Probably crying, right? Poor girl. If she at least had someone to blame and hate. A light that seems to reach the other side. Just. Oh, whoa. Just a what are doing? Let's go back. You still don't feel well, do you? Yeah. Uh, Lauro? Yeah. The stars are beautiful, don't you think? Huh? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Sure are. The stars, huh? I guess they don't look too bad when they blink in the sky. But I can't say I ever cared much for them. You can see them anytime as long as the weather's fine. The sky is the same every day. True that. Yesterday's evening was a good evening for that. Why? I mean, because I was running, so I, of course, pay attention somehow to that, to the sky and so on. I don't know why, but yeah, I like doing that. And it was so clean. You could see the stars. I mean, as long as the freaking city lights hello but yeah I see I never saw them like this hmm Chester I only really stars for just as beautiful on the mainland Chester yeah I'll call your name tomorrow too Laura and the day after tomorrow, and the day after that. I'll call it out so loud you'll hear me. So please. Be sure to answer me, okay? And in exchange, I'll answer whenever you call to, regardless of where I am. Alright? Deal. We have a deal. Oh, Chester. 
It's probably the girl, right? Like, oh, Chester, I see. Your color has gotten even more potent. I thought that was her. What exactly does she mean by that for? Okay, I think I figured it out. This works in all sorts of situations. It might help if you try coming up with some yourself. Okay. So... What do you mean? So I do you know stuff like this? Is he outside so dangerous everyone nice to know it? <laughs> well, it depends on where you hang around, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, did I scare you? <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah, oh, pay that no mind. It is not all bad. It's one of these things that work to your protection. Through that. Really? Well, I'm no scientist. I bet you're just making up tough as you go. <laughs> Sister never came back, huh? Yeah, I hope she didn't dare run into Ty along the way. Uh, could you just check in case? Just in case. I'm a bit worried. But it's alright, I'm just gonna catch a nap on my bed. Okay, I guess I go then. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> what? Ah, it's not, no, no, nothing significant. Yeah? Will you come back? I feel like speaking with someone today. Huh? Yeah, uh, don't worry. Okay, thanks. That was a weird thanks, yeah? I'll go then. I want the clock. <laughs> Good luck on your way. As weird as that sounds. Where is it going? Where is it going? Just a wake, sis with Greta, and they are taking their sweet time too. I wonder if he's sleeping. Uh, I wonder if he's sleeping. Just opening the door. Do -do. She's not there. Huh? There is no one inside? Didn't he say he was going to take a damn nap? <laughs> he did. He did. Do you like this place? Hmm. I suppose I do. The view is nice and the sky feels close. Uh, how does it feel to like something? You don't know? I know the word and its meaning, but I do not know how it feels, and Virio do not feel. Oh, you are speaking all of the versions of you or something. Uh, a generation, I don't know. I see, but you should know that explaining a feeling is not an easy task. It's complicated. Yeah. Then I suppose you need not bother. That's one wave of my back. You are going to die soon, and all your color will be mine. I cannot wait. Hmm. You cannot wait for me to die. In a way. Hmm. I've got no idea what you meant with those colors. How are they related to my life? Color is a color. We have to bring it to Enigma. To Enigma, huh? The forest? Wait, you mean the forest? Enigma is Enigma. Hmm, I was told not to get involved, but I can't contain my curiosity. A bit more and it will reach its goal. Once it does, it will stabilize. It comes into being little by little and disappears, so too. That's the mechanism. It gets better when people like you are low in number. It shrinks otherwise. But it would be worse if none of you were here at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got no idea what you're talking about. You don't need to. All you need to do is give us your color. And how does one do that? I'm already consuming it. You will be envious once you perish. And once you are, Enigma will. 
Chester! Hmm? Laura, what's up? Hmm. You again! Wait, Laura, wait, shot tomate! Huh? Is the color will be yours after I die. Why are you asking me to give it to you? I want it sooner. I see. What are you talking about? Call, key. In other words, you want me to die as soon as possible. <laughs> That's right. You're smart. You're better than Ignis. Uh, humans are usually afraid. I can help you. If you wish, alive during its last moments is the most useful. I'm asking for permission because I like to act human. Ignis says it's funny when I do. Yes, and Viru understands what fun is. I can explain, but I think I can feel it too. I wonder. Hmm? I'm sorry, but I prefer to hold for a little bit longer. I made a promise after all. Huh? I never thought about what would happen after my death, and I highly doubt I will be able to do anything about anything from beyond the grave. That, well, will have to take care of itself. I decided to present the last time of my life to Lauro, so it'd be very troublesome for me if you decide to take away my present. Oh... I understand. I shall wait. But I might take it the next time we meet. That is how much I want it. I won't try act human. Next time. Don't forget it, Chester. Uh, just go over it, doll. Huh. I like her. I don't know why I like her. We need to know more about her. What are you doing here? <laughs> Whoopsie. Are you dumb or something? I just want to get some fresh air. Outside is outside, even it's right outside of your house. Why the hell do you come to this place all your own? I'm sorry. Poppy eyes, poppy eyes, you will win this. You're really not getting it, are you? <laughs> I want to say it one more time. Huh? I wanted to burn this scenery to my memory before my day came. So, before I knew it. Ha. I'm sorry, I said too much. <laughs> you're a cute when you're honest. <gasps> oh yeah, tell me which island you are talking about. One of them has a cabin, right? Maybe we can see it from here. Just your jokes aren't funny. Huh? I've never told a joke in my life. Just look into my eyes. Not a hint of slyness inside of them, wouldn't you agree? All I see is slyness. Oh, no way! Gee. Maybe a bit. <laughs> it was no joke, no lie. What do you do would you do if I said that was all the reason I had? Well, what does it require a speck of imagination? Listen, Lauro. You're an honest and kind child, and so I do not wish for you to get hurt. Even though in this world it is impossible to lead a life without pain and change. Hmm. Are you sure that's alright? I mean, that's alright. That's enough. Sorry. Yeah, I'm ready full. Sorry for leaving so much. It's alright. I'll eat it. He hasn't eaten anything. And he didn't eat anything the morning either. But yesterday he seemed completely normal. Can these things happen so fast? Unfortunately, yeah. Huh? I feel like this is the this isn't the first time this is happening to me. How the mother? How do? What's that? Looks like a pretty big bag. Ah! Uh, oh, this. Let me show it to you. I think you should lie down or something. Okay. What's in the back? Oh, here you go. Um, oh, so that's the one you were talking about. Yeah, you've seen mouse before, haven't you? Yeah, do they look the same? 
Hmm, more or less, I guess. So the countries seem to have different names on this one, for. Uh, the letters have faded away and some names are really hard to read. Where do you live? Here, the kingdom of Lysnia. My home was around this part, just next to the port. Ah, uh, so we ran that far. Far from what? From mother's home. She said she was from Lagusia, a small but resource-rich land. It had a really beautiful lake, apparently. Many people even came from other countries to see it. She said her country prided itself over it. It's what their flag looked like. Have you seen it before? Yeah? Yeah, I have. It's called... Still called the same? No, not really. Uh, it's Lysnia's territory now. Huh? Why? There was a war. A war? Why? I mean, your country already takes like half of the map. Your wage wars when you need more land, right? That's not the only reason. We fought for resources over there. Isn't that called like an invasion or something? This. It's a bad thing, isn't it? Lysnia, you see. Was kind of targeted by an even bigger country far away. So we needed those resources no matter what. Of no reason can justify what happened. But, sorry. I cannot honestly label it an evil action. Hmm. But. I don't know, we had no other wars. It's possible that. You participated in that war? There is nothing more terrifying than a war. And not only because you don't know where you live to see another day. You also have to fight the guilt of killing other men. Guilt? Weapons in hand. We kill and get killed. People die one after the other all around. You don't even have time to count. Whenever you look at your feet, you find someone lying dead down there. And as you dash forward trying to ignore it, you think that you have killed many. Many, huh? Sounds not much different from others. Even for every single one of those others had their own lives and loved ones. When you had countless lives together, you start thinking of them just a lot, filter them in convenient confines. You forget, because you don't really know those people. After all, everyone is the protagonist of their own story. Huh. I spent only about half a year in Lagusia. I was around your age back then. The next war took five years for, and by that time there were quite a few ex lagusian soldiers under my command. Didn't they hate you? They... <laughs> ah, it's alright, don't speak anymore. Sorry for forcing you to talk all on your own. Uh, right, I was thinking that one, to one day make a map with this island on it. This island? Yeah, I don't know where it is now, but once I do, I could update the map. It's like awesome, don't you think? Hmm, yeah, it would be almost like you made the island. Uh, I won't go as far to say that, but it would be pretty cool to declare where it is to everyone. For that fun in the future, I'd like to travel around the world first. You know it. Hmm. If I find a way to live, will you come with me? <sighs> It'd be like an adventure, right? Yeah. And there we could write a book on both of us. A book about our adventures. Only from which point I should start. Hmm. From the scene of mastering determination to leave, I'd say. I see. That makes sense. I feel like got more of it than ever now. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's go together. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to go to together. And so on. Anyway, we'll find out what's going to happen next in the next episode. Will we still run into Ty again? Will he get his ass whooped again? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we'll not run into him. Probably. Hopefully. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.